योग कर्मसु कौशल Recently, the concept of flipped learning has become a buzzword in the field of higher education as a unique pedagogical tool. This new concept is engrossing and gaining momentum all over the globe because it has the capacity to transform the entire concept of teaching and learning. So what is flipped learning? The experienced educators of flipped learning network define it as flipped learning is a pedagogical approach in which direct instruction moves from the group learning space to the individual learning space and the resulting group space is transformed into a dynamic interactive learning environment where the educator guides students as they apply concepts and engage creatively in the subject matter. In a way, it's a learning environment where the activities that were traditionally completed out of the class as homework are now done in the class in the instruction time. And the activities that were traditionally completed in the class are now done outside the class. So it is a reverse of the traditional classroom of listening the lectures and then doing the homework. FLN describes the four pillars of FLIP. F is the flexible environment. Here it allows a variety of learning modes and create flexible spaces for the students to choose their flexible timelines where they can work at their own pace. L is the learning culture. Here the teachers realize that nowadays they are no more a sole source of information and interpretation and so develop a learner-centered approach where the students actively engage in knowledge construction. I is the intentional content. Educators constantly think of getting the best out of the students by adhering to their social habits and they use this intentional content to maximize the classroom time for student-centered active learning activities. P is the professional educator. This professional educator flips his role from the instructor to a facilitator. For creating this learning revolution, we teachers need to search explicit ways to inculcate these active learning strategies that work effectively in a flipped classroom. But this is only possible when we try to overcome our implicit understanding of teaching and learning and try to teach differently with different techniques, devices and approaches. So the, the practical question arises that how to flip? Let us discuss the stages of flipped learning. First is training the teacher for a flipped classroom. Since stone age, man has used tools to improve the effectiveness and efficiency of his effort. It is the basic instinct of human nature to thrive for constant betterment and growth. This positive attitude for continuous personal and professional development motivate us, the teachers, to learn, unlearn and relearn with evolving technology. In fact, the use of ICT tools in the classroom have made us more adaptable and acquainted with technology. And it has also helped us to understand technology is not a threat to our professional existence. It is there to support and not replace us. With this techno-friendly attitude, we need to train ourselves for a flipped classroom. First, we need to have a very clear goal of 
teaching in a flipped classroom so what is that goal definitely the goal is not to prepare them for passing examinations but it is to bring out their inner potential to help them acquire knowledge competence and skill which they can use in the real life situations at the same time we have to be very clear that we develop a learner centered approach with this clarity and determination we have to update ourselves with the latest technology and methods so that we can integrate the best blend of flipped learning apart from this we have to remain super prepared for online material designing of course it requires a lot of creativity and we have to expand our creative abilities apart from that we also have to learn to translate the existing demands and aspirations of the students in relation to the changing scenario at the global level as flipped learning is about collaboration we also need to collaborate with our colleagues for the exchange of knowledge and techniques to have a more effective classroom management we also have to remain open to constructive criticism looking to this learning pyramid of cody blair we clearly see that we can retain only 5% of the total information by listening if we continue to descend we see that the next strategy is reading of course the retention rate increases to 20% with audio visual and it goes to 30% with demonstration it reaches 50% when we engage students in group discussions and it reaches to 75% when the applied technique of practicing is done and it reaches the maximum 90% when we teach others that is peer tutoring in case of the students looking to this scenario we need to shift from the passive subject of just a transmitter of knowledge to a facilitator for active learning the next stage is to acquaint the students with the concept of the flipped classroom here we have to help them understand the concept of the flipped classroom of course their acquaintance with electronic gadgets and tech savvy approach will help them understand the purpose of actual and active learning in a new inverted way first clear the task and expectations from them as an out of class activity share some relevant online content like a short youtube video or a powerpoint lecture video to absorb knowledge i think the 21st century students are more comfortable in watching a video than reading a text and so they will willingly do this task and also their habit of surfing for information and finding online solutions to problem will make it easy for them in decoding the online information after this sharing design some online quiz or short questions to assess their understanding for the in class activity as teaching learning and assessment go together it will create a connection between the teacher and the student so we have to do a kind of a formative assessment then begin the class with a formative feedback of the given content to connect with them use problem solving approach to create scope for active learning peer tutoring and interaction make sure that the in class activities result in clarifying concepts and problem solving by sharpening the judging analyzing and capacity building skills of them prepare them for the post class stage of self evaluation and practical knowledge application of the content now the third stage is the use of appropriate technology 
here we have to curate resources with the help of technology we can create our own powerpoint online lecture video with the help of tools like camtasia of course here we have to be very conscious that simply sharing a video will make it very boring for the students so we need to include elements like animations puzzles and quizzes to capture the students attention i know funding is a big question for all of us but if your institution allows you little funding then you can use cloud based services like canvas blackboard modular object oriented dynamic learning environment that is moodle and d2l which are available at very nominal rates even this is not possible then you can use many free web services like microsoft office 365 for education this is easily accessible by just entering your valid email id of your institution and you can club it with office mix to convert powerpoint or lecture into the video we all know that google classrooms are a free web service of course sharing of a relevant youtube video will also not cost you anything the use of web 20 tools like voxopop which uses the voice recording or padlet which is a collaborative and productive online tool are available free of cost apart from all these we need to use the learning management system that is lms to manage tools there are so many easy to use sites like endomo.com which are free and user friendly and we can organize a flipped classroom because such lms services keep the teacher content and the students connected the proper technology training and effective use of appropriate learning strategies will help the students think pair and share their understanding now the final stage is the effective flipped classroom management here the role of the teacher is very challenging and demanding here we have to flip our role from an instructor to a researcher who understands the learning ability of each and every student a mentor who shows an appropriate way to all the students and a facilitator who bring out the maximum capacity of all the students of course this is not only a shift of role but this is also a shift of position in the flipped classroom from the sage on the stage to the guide on the side this will create a student friendly environment and will also have a positive psychological impact on the students and they will be able to interact and collaborate very conveniently with an assurance that the teacher is always on their side here we have to be very much clear that we have to reach every student either the advanced the mediocre or the slow learner and this is only possible when we constantly observe connect and go to each and every student and create a kind of a personalized learning of course the group activities and interaction will make the class more noisy but i'm sure that will be able to manage this controlled chaos with our creative skills and will be able to transform it to an active and vibrant class in fact there will be fewer management issues in the class because the students will be constantly engaged in problem solving and other activities such effective classroom management will provide equal opportunities for all the students to actively reflect and express their understanding as it challenges and encourages student for peer and independent learning this flipped approach will help the student to learn revise reflect synthesize interact create collaborate communicate and develop critical thinking the flipped classroom let's reverse where traditional homework and lecture take place now i must warn you beforehand 
watching this presentation can literally turn your world upside down. The first thing most educators are going to ask is why flip? Well, here are a couple reasons to consider. With a flipped classroom, the content becomes available to students beyond typical classroom time. Students are now able to access the content anytime. Benefit that comes with viewing content in video format is the ability to stop, pause, play, etc. Students can write down questions about the content at home. Then, when students enter the classroom, they are already prepared to ask these questions to their teacher. When a teacher flips a classroom, that teacher is able to walk around the room. Ultimately, flipping a classroom frees up time for teachers to work with students individually. Now, let's take a quick break to think about how our students are used to acquiring knowledge. Students of today mostly learn from their phones and computers. Students of today are comfortable with the flip model because it's how they usually access knowledge. Lastly, we know some students learn faster than others. Flipping a classroom allows teachers to personalize learning. Now, how do you flip a classroom? What steps should you take? All right now, I'm going to outline an eight step path that I have successfully used to flip my classroom. Each step is represented with a star. The first step in flipping a classroom begins with the buy-in. Get your students, parents, and administrators on board with the flip model. Step two, curate the resources you need to flip a classroom. These are resources for instruction, such as YouTube video, online worksheets, quizzes, electronics, etc. Now, moving on to the actual first day of class, classroom management is required for a flip model just like a traditional model. Very early on, be sure to spend time and incorporate expectations and procedures as this learning style may be new. Number four is technology training. Teachers need to learn how to curate videos through YouTube channels and create playlists, and students must be able to access and interact with online content. Now we get to the actual flipping. And the number five is assigned content for homework. Students will access content through videos, hyperdocs, interactive PowerPoints, slides, and much more. Next up, number six. Students work on problems during class time. Students get to work on the application of skills in class where a teacher walks around the room and facilitates and helps students as needed. Moving on to number seven, independent learning. With a flipped classroom, students become independent learners and have the ability to move through the curriculum at their own pace. And the last star in the sky, number eight, peer tutoring. Pair up your advanced students who mastered the content beforehand with students having a hard time completing the problems. So what does it actually look like? The traditional model has students attending school where content is delivered by teachers and students going home to work on problems. But here we are getting rid of that model and replacing it with a flip model. In the flip model, students work on problems when they are at school and when students are at home, content is delivered online. Here are a couple tools you may need when flipping a classroom. YouTube will allow you to provide video lessons. Social media can help disseminate content. Devices to access online content. Google Doc links. Slides to learn content and sites to find the content. Readings can be used as well.